Hey everyone, this is my chocolate pie build showcase for the upcoming competition happening on November 14, 2023. I'm going to show you how well it's performing, show you what every building is making, show you the auto trade, show you the visualizer, and then try to give you some advice on how to further improve this design. So this design right here is doing about 28.5 chocolate pies per hour. It has been running for five hours now, so that is a stable rate. I do believe it's going to be competitive enough to win, and I will show you the production monitor and I'm going to point out what I would think are the important production here. So sugar at 305 per hour, salt at 88 per hour, milk at 176 per hour, eggs at 129 per hour, cornstarch at 48 per hour, cocoa at 360 which puts chocolate bars at 120 and butter at 28 per hour. So you do the math here it gives you about 28 or between 28 and 29 chocolate pies per hour that's what it ended up being at and later on i'll tell you what you need to push like what do you need to produce more in order to push it even higher so this design right here i do believe it's a nice clean looking organized design it utilizes red timer windmills as well as green timer windmills in the spots where i have the green timer windmills it utilizes milk barns and chicken coops and a lot of meadows and the salt fields in order to take advantage of the objects that won't cast any shade on the windmills we have all the crops next to the river on the west side so we have 15 tree farms seven cocoa trees eight sugarcane fields and two cornfields on the east side where we have the ocean we have all the animals as well as the salt fields so we have four salt fields on a green craft timer because they're right next to the ocean we have seven milk barns scattered around the town here they're put in very specific spots so they don't cast any shade on the windmills which have a green craft timer we have only two chicken coops right here and there are a total of 37 meadows across this area close to the crops we have the cakeries and chocolate shops so we have three cakeries making chocolate pies a bakery down here making butter and we have a total of seven chocolate shops making chocolate bars there are a total of 29 windmills and 21 of those are making sugar and of those 21 17 are on a red timer making sugar they're, they're going to be the ones closer to the north side and i am cycling through all of them then we have four windmills making sugar on a green craft timer that would be this one this one and the two down here then we have three windmills making salt on a green craft timer that would be these three next to the ocean and then we have five windmills making cornstarch on a red timer down here as for the workers we have a total of six loggers six tractors four atvs closer to where the crops are since they only cast one shade this would be a really good place to put them at and one dedicated builder right here for the storage there are three silos scattered around the map the silo over here should take in the corn and sugar this silo should take in only brine and the silo to the north side should take in cocoa and sugar cane so they are evenly spread out and each silo should only take in a certain amount of materials there are a total of five storehouses which is actually quite a lot you don't need that many storehouses but i just decided to go this way because they only cast one shade so i can have them right next to the crops and i would have plenty of storage space so i don't have to worry about the storage and it allows my workers to quickly pick up or drop off the items in the closest storage since they're right next to it i also have one warehouse right here for the energy that is used to build all the buildings you don't need this in the end so it can be replaced same goes with the lumber yard right here you don't need this in the end and if you decide to keep it just jam it up with lumber that way you don't have any wood going here slowing down your windmills and i also have the fuel storage for the gasoline of course i have the standard gasoline setup with two water pumps two power plants a refinery in between those crafting gasoline and a refinery to the side crafting petroleum now we do have an oil seep in this so we have passive crude oil for the refinery crafting petroleum as well as both of the power plants so you can easily make all the energy you need to build everything you need and there is also a lumber mill in order to make lumber but of course at the very end you don't actually need this so you could replace it with something else there are two trade depot in this design and that's because the trade time is two minutes so i have two 
two of them in case I need to make multiple trades around the same time. I haven't tested it with just one trade depot, but I think you will be all right since most of the time only one is being used. And if you're planning to use the Express Depot NFT, then you will have no issue at all. Since there's a lot of storage available in this design, I decided to have the auto trade for everything at 15, with the exception of the chocolate pies, of course. You can have those at an auto trade of 10, but everything else is 15, and you do not need to auto trade any gasoline, petroleum, energy, lumber, or wood. Here is how it looks like on the visualizer. Total cost is about 10.5 million cash. Wages are 12,660 per minute, but you will have no issue with the wages once you are finished with the design. And you can find a file for this in my Discord server, and an invite link to my Discord server is in the description of the video. No NFTs are required for this design, but of course there are NFTs out there like the wheat stand, which can increase your egg and milk production, which will further increase your chocolate pie production. And of course, I always encourage you to further improve upon this design or create your own design, which is much better for the competition. But hopefully this gives you an idea that will help you out with the upcoming competition. Now I did say I would try to give some advice to further improve this design. And first of all, let me say that the bottleneck for this design is milk. This is the reason why it's not doing more than 28.5 chocolate pies per hour. So what you could do is find a way to perhaps add another milk barn here, maybe even deleting this farm tractor, adding a milk barn here, and then moving the farm tractor somewhere else. Maybe you probably don't even need one of these windmills. Just something I didn't bother trying, but adding one more milk barn can further increase your milk production, which would then allow you to hit 30 chocolate pies per hour with this design. But then the next issue would be the cocoa. It's making exactly enough cocoa for 120 chocolate bars, which would be enough for 30 chocolate pies. So then you would have to add another cocoa tree, which might interfere with the amount of wood that you need. Right now, this is actually overproducing wood. So you'll either end up not producing enough wood or just barely producing enough. But if you add the milk barn and another cocoa tree, then you would have everything you need to reach 32 chocolate pies per hour no nfts required just with this same design and if you wanted to go beyond that then at that point you would need to increase both the egg production and the sugar production and then that would take up way more space so at that point with this design i don't think you can go further than 32 chocolate pies per hour of course maybe you'd be able to figure it out but without the use of nfts it might not go past 32. i hope this was able to help you out by providing you a design or giving you some ideas that you can implement to your current design. If it was helpful, leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing if you haven't done so. And if you ever plan on buying something from the Gala Game Store and you want to help support the channel, all you have to do is use the link in the description of the video. It helps out so much. As always, I appreciate your support and thank you for watching.